Hi guys, welcome to today's session and uh, today we are going to discuss about few concepts. This will make you understand the difference between uh, different engines uh, such as turbojet, scramjet, uh, ramjet, cryogenic etc. which we see in our daily news often. So that is the basic idea. Let's uh, now start and in the screen you can see uh, two things one is a candle and other is a balloon and uh, suppose whenever a candle is burning uh, you know that for anything to burn you require two things that is uh, one is fuel and other is oxygen and in this example of candle uh, fuel is wax and oxygen is oxygen from atmosphere it is acting as oxidizer uh, so that are the two basic things required for anything to burn fuel and oxygen and here in the case of candle the fuel is wax and in our childhood we might have done some experiments like we keep uh, burning candle in a glass box and after some time this candle will go off because of lack of oxygen so once oxygen is finished candle will go off so that is the basic idea and second thing you can see in the screen is balloon uh, so here once you fill the air in this balloon just open the mouth of this balloon and you will see air going out in one direction and balloon moving in the opposite direction this often happens and so uh, here a uh, balloon will get a thrust and will move in that direction when we open the mouth of the balloon so a scientist combined these two principles that is the principle of combustion uh, that that we saw in the example of uh, cantil and the second one is principle of thrust and propulsion as in the case of balloon so these two principles our scientists combined together uh, to make aircrafts satellite launch vehicles and missiles etc so th this is the basic uh, idea or the very basic uh, idea behind the working of aircrafts satellite uh, launch vehicles and missiles so we will now see in detail what um, uh, exactly the difference between these uh, these engines here you can see a chart i will explain this in detail first you are seeing in the top of the chart engine so what actually engine does so what happens in engine is uh, combustion happens in engine so there will be fuel and there will be oxygen and combustion happens like uh, in the case of candle uh, as a result of uh, this some gases will come out of engine and because of this gases coming out in high speed the engine or aircraft or a missile will get the thrust and it will go up towards the sky so that is the basic working principle i will explain once more combustion combustion happens in engine and uh, as a result some gases will come out of engine and this gases coming out of engine in high speed and uh, this uh, will generate a thrust as we see in the case of balloon and hence the engine or aircraft or missile will go upwards towards the sky so that is the basic working principle now in engine you have uh, two things one is oxygen and one is fuel and uh, uh, for combustion you need oxygen and fuel we have seen the candle experiment and fuel in any way you need to carry and oxygen uh, for oxygen there are two possibilities that is uh, given in the chart here one is that you have to carry oxygen container with you that means in flight or missile or, or in um, aircraft or engine uh, the oxygen is attached and um, other possibility uh, oxygen means oxygen container is attached and other possibility is that uh, taking oxygen from the air for this you do not need to carry oxygen with you you can take oxygen from the air directly like in the normal case of breathing we are taking um, air from the atmosphere likewise uh, aircrafts also taking oxygen from the air and if you are extracting oxygen from the air then those missiles or engines uh, is called air breathing engine and uh, there are many types of such engines uh, in our country but uh, we'll be covering uh, only three of them one is turbojet and ramjet and other one is cramjet so these three are engines that will take oxygen or they will take atmospheric oxygen uh, and uh, they will take the incoming air and uh, the other two one given here is cryogenic and vigas they do not take atmospheric oxygen they will take uh, oxygen containers along with them 
so what happens in this case is that as you are carrying uh, oxygen container along with the flight the weight of the uh, flight or the missile uh, is increased uh, because there is a uh, weight of oxygen container there is weight of oxygen is added to that so this increases the overall weight of total weight of the uh, aircraft so this may affect the efficiency of the flight hence uh, uh, you will not uh, carry oxygen um, uh, um, that uh, that means um, the other case uh, the, in the air breathing uh, engine case uh, you need need not carry oxygen hence the efficiency is uh, slightly increased for this type of uh, aircrafts for uh, this um, turbojet ramjet and scramjet uh, they need not carry uh, oxygen along with them so the efficiency of them is uh, slightly better than when I mean, compared to the other engines like uh, cryogenic and vikas uh, here um, uh, uh, you can see here in these types of engine, uh, the type of air breathing engine, atmospheric uh, air is coming inside the engine. As atmospheric uh, air is coming inside the engine, we require a pressurized air. See, when the air or oxygen is mixing with the fuel, we need some pressure or compressed air. So, to make it compressed, some engines uses blades or otherwise called as turbines. You can see in the picture turbines this is turbines and uh, these are for compressing the air coming in uh, and for so those engine which uses these turbines are called turbojet engines so turbojet engines are using turbines or blades and also they are taking uh, oxygen from the atmosphere now the latest technology has come and uh, you even do not need turbines so the basic idea is because of some uh, shock waves and new technology you can even compress the air without even having turbines the disadvantages or negative of uh, having turbine is that uh, when this turbine or blade is used this is of heavy weight and uh, the weight uh, of this turbine or blade is added to the flight or aircraft and uh, this may also affect the efficiency of the aircraft hence uh, when there is no blade or turbine um, that weight is saved and uh, efficiency is increased so these types of engines are called which uh, this type of engines means the engines which do not use uh, turbines or blades are called ramjet and scramjet so these both are uh, same only a uh, slight difference is there i'll i'll tell and um, in ramjet engines there is no turbines you just need a fast airflow come just coming inside so airflow must be fast coming inside and uh, they'll compress it using some uh, shock waves and uh, other technologies and the engine will work and suppose you just increase the speed of the airflow but that is when the speed of uh, airflow is more than one mac or otherwise uh, called as when the speed of uh, speed is supersonic speed of uh, uh, here the speed of the airflow means speed of the incoming air uh, and when the speed of incoming air is more than one mac or supersonic speed then that engine which functions for supersonic air is called as scramjet so that is the basic difference between ramjet and uh, scramjet uh, for ramjet the incoming airflow is just a fast airflow and for scramjet the incoming airflow is more than one mac or supersonic speed uh, so scramjet is a type of ramjet engine which uses air whose speed is supersonic or more than one mac so that is the basic difference and one more thing uh, what happens when satellite is stationary when it is uh, just about to take off uh, at that time movement of air is not possible so hence the uh, issue is you cannot get the fast moving air inside so because of that you cannot use these engines at the beginning because these engines that is turbojet uh, scramjet and ramjet required uh, fast moving air inside or high speed air coming in so at that time you required other engines which are having oxygen with them already and so with those engines uh, you will get a lift off and uh, your carrier will go up and once 
it started moving the fast moving air coming in and then you can switch on uh, other engines that is your turbojet uh, ramjet or scramjet so that's how um, it uh, it works and one another issue is that after 100 kilometer or 115 kilometer above the atmosphere oxygen is not there so uh, as we all know oxygen as we uh, mentioned also uh, oxygen is uh, required for combustion so during that time uh, above 100 kilometer or 115 kilometer above the atmosphere uh, you cannot using the air breathing engines uh, but whenever you are uh, sending a satellite in a space uh, then the satellite launch vehicle has to go till the space but there you can't get the oxygen so the air breathing engines can't work there there you can use the powerful engines like cryogenic or vikas see the cryogenic uh, means very low temperature so at very low temperature gases are liquefied so in a uh, cryogenic engine either the gas uh, the oxidizer that is the oxygen is liquefied or the fuel is liquefied uh, so these are the cryogenic and vikas are used in PSLV and GSLV because uh, because of the reason that uh, it has to go until the space and there you can't get oxygen uh, hence you can't uh, use the air breathing engines so that is the basic uh, difference very basic concept uh, behind the working of uh, this turbojet ramjet scramjet cryogenic and vikas engines uh, so uh, I, my aim was to make a basic idea of uh, this and um, you can answer few mcqs also uh, with uh, respect to the, the topic uh, uh, sorry uh, questions coming from these areas so this is a very basic concept i explained hope you all get it uh, that's all for today guys we'll meet uh, next day with another topic thank you for watching this lesson